Well, a popular program that started during the pandemic is expanding thanks to California's budget surplus. As Kim Baldonado shows us, all public school students in the state will now have access to free breakfast and lunch at school. For millions of children, school is not only the place where they learn, but also where they get food they wouldn't otherwise have. Sometimes they have troubled homes or the families can't um, cook food or when the kids have to go to classes at the, at the time. Before the pandemic, more than 3.6 million students in the state qualified for free or reduced price meals at school. That's nearly 60% of all students. But advocates believe the number who are eligible is much higher. In order to qualify for the federal program, parents had to provide income information and immigration status. But in the newly adopted state budget, all public school students in California will receive free breakfast and free lunch, no questions asked. Well, that's great, though. I believe that, uh, you know, that, uh, that's a good uh, thing for us. Supporters of the program say language barriers or immigration status may have prevented eligible children from participating. Now, by providing meals to everyone, it also takes away the stigma of receiving a free meal. When the pandemic hit, the federal government waived income requirements for free meals, allowing schools to offer food to anyone who needed it. Uh, my parents got the lunches and um, so, um, we eat them. I got cool packs right here. The Santa Ana School District put their fleet of buses to use, delivering bags of groceries to neighborhoods where their students live. <laughs> Los Angeles Unified set up grab-and-go sites on campuses throughout the district. We knew that hundreds of thousands of children counted on us to provide meals at school. So we set up a food relief effort which provided both children and adults with more than 134 million meals. The new state budget sets aside $650 million for the Universal Schools Meal Program, which advocates say will go a long way in tackling the issue of food insecurity among the youngest California residents. In Los Angeles, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.